Now it's recording. Okay, so bear with me. You have two videos this week. But this class is two videos. Hopefully it does not stop. Here, we are back to the camera. All right. Hey, they emphasize the platform as the idea. The first group given a lot of idea, which is very good, but try to focus on at least one important idea so that we could uh, continue with it. Yes. Help yourself. Um, I the blog we can share our ideas on the blog and about sports star and the politics and many businesses. Um, and uh, we can also share some uh, something about our families. Uh, it's about everyone can share uh, ideas from the That's very good. And do you hear that? Rocks to enable different parties to share different ideas, such as business to share their products, family to share their happy moments, individuals to share their personal aspirations, such as if you would like to write a soft journal. And of course, organizations can share their development, like the University of Cal, a lot of very good things. Very good. This is a very important thing. Very personalized. Hi, Fiora. What about you? Um, through blogs, we can convey news and its comments, and we can find similar interests and people. Yes. One thing that Fiora mentioned is something about the news. Just like a newspaper, from newspaper we can find different things that interest us. Thank you. I agree that. And we think blog also is very convenient to communicate from different people. Oh, that's good. Right. Do you understand why? Because normally in today's blog, after you have expressed something, there is often a feedback box over there. You can always give the feedback to the writer. And it's a very good tool of quick communications. Okay, thank you very much. Now, this very much enhances our understanding of this technology. Hey, tell me. Um, we found that blog is uh, very combined with web and blog. So that I, uh, it's definitely the main thing of uh, our journal. That's right, that's right. Very good. You bring and us to the uh, very basic. I think uh, blog it allows internet users to share this Right. Actually, Tiffany is getting us to get to the point of freedom of speech is best expressed with a tool that is convenient for everyone to use to express his or her views. Brock is a technology that could help us to do something similar. Yes. Do you have any idea to add? Okay. Thank you very much. Now let me move to this table. Adrian, do you have anything to add? Uh, we think that the, the blocks that means the new technology uh, helps us to uh, what uh, how say that? the it, it gives us uh, one more choice to have some leisure time and interesting it is and the uh, and then a new way to to meet with new friends okay that's good now when I listen to Adrian's uh, sharing immediately i remember when i open a newspaper i love to go to what we call the full horn you see if in full horn that means the <coughs> the, the sidetrack a lot of different stories about different topics and we love to read those for leisure okay yeah, it's yeah. not anything connected with work oriented accomplishment just spend time reading some of the important things yes enjoy life right do you have anything you have your memory behind the shame. Enter it. Do you have anything? Okay, that's it. Thank, Thank you very much for offering this perspective. Hi, Hi, Jay. Do you have anything to share? Hey, Addison. Okay. Do something. Do something. Ladies, do something. Yeah. Say something, ladies. Yes. yes, you can do it. Yes. Say something about it. All right. Good. Um, I think, um, well, it's like a 
platform for people to share their ideas and like collaborate with each other. And it's very good. This is a very interesting thing to think about. In what sense to collaborate with one Like to, to share their ideas. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Um, and um, um, I think it can shorten the distance between people. Right. It's, right. It's, um, it is a convenient link right. between Okay, that's good. Thank you. Yes, let me try to, thank you very much, Rita. Let me try to add into the context a little bit. Do you remember what Tiffany said when she introduced her ideas about rock? That actually web rock, a record, not a journal. So, rock is actually a record for us to share with someone, something we feel important or something we feel interesting. So it's basically, if I could discover people following my blog, which is very often the case, when I discover something interesting, I would say, I follow your blog. That means whenever you have some new blog coming up, I will be notified. And then I will continue reading it. It's one important way to communicate. And also another important way to collaborate, as Rita said. How do we collaborate using the blog? Well, in today's technology, people can actually interconnect the problems together. So that if I would like to read a little bit more about this person's idea, when I read your idea, I will be redirected to your problem, giving us the choice of do you want to read more. So it's a very interesting way to do it. So, problems. Now, before we move on to the next topic, I want to add one thing that is very important in the introductions of blocks in Christ English, they emphasize one business in the world called a news business, okay? News business. Now, how do we understand news business? We read news by buying newspaper every day because we know that behind the newspaper, there is a very hardworking team of journalists, editor, photographer. They are gathering news locally and also internationally to put in the daily newspaper so that we who buy the newspaper we have all the latest news. That is one way for us to understand what's happening around us. And that is the traditional way to produce news and to consume news, reading newspaper. Today, we know that besides reading news from the newspaper, we also can read the news by listening to the radio because in the radio, every single hour, they have five minutes news brief. And in the televisions, normally six o'clock news, seven o'clock news are the news hour that we can watch the televisions to read the news of the world and to read the news locally. But today, with the emergency of intellect and the web technology such as bra, we do not need to confine ourselves to discover what's happening in the world by only reading from the newspaper, by only listening to the radio, or by only watching the television news. We can also go to blogs because individual reporter, based on the discipline of serious journalism, write the blogs to report the news, and many people follow those news, and it's often more objective and accurate than the mass media news. Because in a sensitive political environment, we all know the mass media are often managed to harmonize a lot of news story. We may not get the true picture. The idea of freedom of speech based on serious journalism, wrong. It's a breakthrough point <coughs> in today's world. It's very interesting. Okay? So the next technology I would like to introduce to you is called Wiki. Now again, may I invite you to discover the idea behind this technology called Wiki while we review this important technology. Remember, you need to understand the idea behind this technology. Okay, let's go for this.
starts with one, but then. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just mm -hmm. bear with it. Mm -hmm. These four friends are going on a camping trip. They need to bring the right supplies because they're so it's not moving. The group needs to plan and plan well, so coordination is key. They're all computer users, so they start planning with an email. It starts with one, but then becomes a barrage. The you didn't watch it. It's not it. good at coordinating and organizing a group's input. This is the old way. Boo! The important information is scattered across everyone's inbox. This isn't coordination. Let's start over. There is a better way. It requires you using a website called a wiki. Using a wiki, the group can coordinate their trip better. This is the new way. Yay! Most wikis work the same. They make it easy for everyone to change what appears on a web page with the click of a button. It's as easy as erasing a word and rewriting it. <coughs> the buttons are really important. There are two that are essential. They are edit and save, and they are always used together. Let's see them in action. Here are our camping friends, and this is a wiki website. Like all wikis, it has an edit button. Clicking this button transforms the web page into a document. All you have to do is click it, and the web page becomes a document ready for editing. Editing the page means you can add or remove words or change how they look, just like writing a letter. Once you're finished editing, you click save and the document becomes a web page once again and is ready for the next person to edit it. Easy. Edit, write, and save. Using this process, a group can coordinate more easily. Let's apply this to our camping friends who need to bring the right supplies. Mary signs up for a wiki site and then sees the new site for the first time. She clicks the edit button to get started. She creates two lists for camping, what we have and what we need. Under we have, she lists the things she will bring, a cooler, stove, and flashlight. Under we need, she lists items that others need to bring, compass, lighter, water, and food. She finishes the process by clicking save, and the website now has lists of camping trip. The need to bring the right supplies. The group needs to plan and plan well, so coordination is key. They're all computer users, so they start planning with an email. It starts with one, but then becomes a barrage. Email is not good at coordinating and organizing a group's input. This is the old way. Boo! The important information is scattered across everyone's inbox. This isn't coordination. Let's start over. There is a better way. It requires you using a website called a wiki. Using a wiki, the group can coordinate their trip better. This is the new way. Yay! Most wikis work the same. They make it easy for everyone to change what appears on a web page with the click of a button. It's as easy as erasing a word and rewriting it. The buttons are really important. There are two that are essential. They are edit and save, and they are always used together. Let's see them in action. Here are our camping friends, and this is a wiki website. Like all wikis, it has an edit button. Clicking this button transforms the web page into a document. All you have to do is click it and the web page becomes a document ready for editing. Editing the page means you can add or remove words or change how they look, just like writing a letter. Once you're finished editing, you click save and the document becomes a web page once again and is ready for the next person to edit it. Easy. Edit, write, and save. Using this process, a group can coordinate more easily. Let's apply this to our camping friends who need to bring the right supplies. Mary signs up for a wiki site and then sees the new site for the first time. She clicks the edit button to get started. She creates two lists for camping, what we have and what we need. Under we have, she lists the things she will bring, a cooler, stove, and flashlight. Under we need, she lists items that others need to bring, compass, lighter, water, and food. She finishes the process by clicking save and the website now has lists for the camping trip. Now it's John's turn. John vi visits the wiki website, clicks edit, and the page becomes a document ready for him to make changes. John volunteers to bring food and water, so he moves those to the half column. He also realizes the group will need a knife and rope. Once he's finished, he clicks save, and the wiki is ready for the next person. Henry visits the wiki, clicks edit, and he can edit the page. He remembers they need a tent. Henry saves the page, and the wiki is ready for Frank. Frank edits the page and agrees to bring the remaining items, completing the process. Frank saves the page and realizes
three buttons, edit, save, and link, make it possible to organize a great camping trip or create the world's biggest encyclopedia. You can sign up for your own wiki at these websites, PBWiki, WebPaint, or Wikispaces. I'm Leo Fever, and this is me. Let me try to add to your understanding, because to be fair, it's a little bit complicated with the confusions of not working browser here. I've just introduced to you through this video a technology, which is a web technology called Wiki. Okay? The name of this technology is called Wiki. So you need to discover what it's a Wiki. Well, first of all, you need to understand Wiki, it's a medium on which we work together. A medium on which we work together. On top of this, it's a web medium. Sometimes we call this a website. A website does not mean you can always work together. In the age of Web 1.0, which we mentioned it, the traditional website is just informative in nature. You cannot write anything on the website. It is written only by the system administrator. He or she is going to prevent something to be published on the website, and we can only read the website for the information that the system administrator has published. So it's a very one-way street, okay? In the traditional sense of website, it's a medium to publish something so that the audience that will be able to read from the medium. It's a one-way medium. With the emergence of Web 2.0, as we have learned, it's interpersonal computing. Beside, the most important point is not only the system administrator who will be able to write on this website. It is everybody who comes to visit this website will be given a chance to write on the website, such as the feedback box. I always give feedback by writing on the box and post my feedback to say, oh, how boring is this site? Oh, how magnificent is this site? But that is the picture between Web 2.0 and 1.0. Now, with this picture in mind, we introduced a technology called blog. A blog is basically a medium, which is on the web, in which you will be given the chance to write something using a tool called a web habitat. For us to publish the blog. You understand what is meant by web editor. Just like when you use Microsoft Word, it basically it's an editor for us to type in the text, for us to include some graphics, for us to include some multimedia, crypts, like video, and voice. So Microsoft Word is an editor. Now here comes the very interesting thing called Wiki. Wiki is a medium which enable a group of people to work together. Now imagine, we do not know what a wiki is. Imagine what you will be doing as a group to write a piece of paper together. Suppose three persons on this table has to write a report together. How do you work on this joint writing project? Maybe in a meeting you decided, oh, Teresa write the introduction, Naomi write part number one, Tiffany write the conclusion, that is cooperations. But what if Teresa needs the help of Naomi to help write the introduction? Teresa, we might be able to write the introduction on one Microsoft Word document after Teresa has finished. So we send the Microsoft document to Naomi. Naomi will take Teresa's Microsoft document and add it on that particular document after the editing, send this back to Teresa. And then Tiffany will get the completed document by both Teresa and Naomi and continue with the conclusion. So the same document will be circulated among the different peoples of the group, although actually it's just a duplicate of the copy. And you have to update the document concurrently before you're working on the same document. Do you agree something like this? You have to make sure 
whenever one person in the group has updated document, the other two person must drop the update of that same document before you continue with the editing. Otherwise, you will not be synchronized. Because you might be working on a different version of the document from Naomi, and Naomi and Teresa might be working on a different versions of the document from Tiffany. So here comes the idea. What if there is a magic tool for us to update the document without our manually updating the same document before we do everything? So much better. Because we humans tend to forget a lot of things. I might be editing a version of the document I believe is the most updated, but we never know seconds ago, Laomi is doing her update before I realize my update is already outdated, right? So what if there is a technology which will automatically update the versions of the document before we do the editing? Wiki is this technology. Okay, wiki is this technology. And wiki is a technology which not only will do the update concurrently for all of us, it also enables us to save a lot of hexos from sending this document to A, collecting this document from B, sending it to C, collecting this document from C, and sending it to B, and collecting the document from B. Because without this technology, this is what we have to do. So Wiki is basically a web medium on which many people can work concurrently on the same versions updated by the latest so that everyone will be given the most updated versions of the work, joining work together. And it's a very important medium to perform collaborative work. Without this medium, we have to do a lot of housekeeping to ensure what you're doing is the most updated version before I pass it to the next person or to lose your inspections. Imagine you can pay a game to do that. All right, so this is a very important piece. Now, allow me to pray this back to you again so that you can read this story one more time. Okay? It's just four minutes. The quickies in plain English on the common crap shirt.
save process to coordinate locations. This process can be repeated over and over. These three buttons, edit, save, and link, make it possible to organize a great camping trip or create the world's biggest encyclopedia. You can sign up for your own wiki at these websites, PBWiki, WetPaint, or Wikispaces. I'm Leila Fever, and this has been Wikis in Plain English. You do not need to worry about the mechanics, meaning how do we do edit, how do we do write, and how do we do save, and how do we create a new page. Starting next Monday, we will help you to learn in class systematically. I see you're quite ready because today I can't take a computer on your table. Make sure you have a computer on your table starting next Monday so that you have a chance to try the wiki I installed for you on this website. Next week, of course, you will have the same wiki with a link here for week five to seven. I will show you how to do this and you can taste it excellently. The conclusion is with the use of wiki, today we seldom use email to coordinate good work. If you ever want to use email to coordinate good work, you are incurring a lot of difficulty because reasons already been there. Emails scatter the messages and data around. And people take a long time to re-get them, and it's very time consuming. And that's why we use Wiki today. Wiki is an important web tool. It's an important web technology which enable good work so much better than the days without Wiki. You understand it study next week because I will invite you to do it in class table by table. All right, before we end today's class, it's very important that I showed you on day number nine and day number 10, I've actually prepared more material than we could handle in class, but I do not want to rush you. I want you to have quality understanding. Even I cannot complete introducing to you six technologies but by going to this website, clicking on those links at home, watching it at your computer, follow my, my advice. Whenever you watch a video here, ask this important question. What is the idea behind this technology? So keep what you can gather in your journal so that you understand how to evaluate the impact of such technology in your daily living because technology comes because of ideas technology comes in the form of products when we use the product we definitely will have some impact in our daily living we change our living habits all right but today before i let you go this is very important on monday i have to demonstrate to you the differences between cooperative learning and collaborate learning because I need to prepare you for good work. Remember, by the end of this week, you should be able to find the other pair in this class to form a team. So I will give you some time today to discuss among one another to see which other pair in this class will become your team pair. But just before that, this is very important. Whatever you study, in this course or outside of this course in your college study experiential learning is very important in other words you must experience the technology discover the impact of that technology in your personal living no one can replace you as your person to do that i cannot tell you how i believe such technology has what kind of impact in our daily living because only my experience your experience comes, and so we need to come to this. You need to put a lot of reflections into what you learn. I discover is not the internet's problem, but the browser's problem.
Okay. Now, the important thing that you learn from this is this. When I invite you to go home and spend some time to pick up what is meant by RSS, photo sharing, podcasting, social bookmarking, social media, and social networking, after all these, you have some brief idea about all of these. I invite you to think what is the idea behind those technology. And minutes ago, I demonstrated to you through this very interesting sub piece of mini lecture. You need to make sure you need to turn on your reflections machines here. Because when you turn on your reflection machines here, you will be able to distinguish between two important processes going on here in each human being. One is called refractions in action. The other is called refraction on action. The difference between refractions in action and refraction on action, it's the following. I will give you just one time and let you experience it, and I'm going to repeat it next Monday. When I invite you to watch any of this video to understand the technology here, I tell you, you have to discover the idea behind it. When you're trying to discover the idea behind a specific technology, you are doing refractions in action. Now, having discovered the idea behind the technology, when you try to put together the picture, what is the impact of such technology in my life, you are doing refraction on action. Okay, come back. If you do not turn on this machines with refractions in actions or refractions on actions, all your learning experience will just come and go. It will never stick here. Ask yourself if you ever experienced it in your secondary school education. If I do not tell you the secret here, if I do not make sure you understand it, I'm afraid. After four years of college study, come and go. Okay? So I'm going to end today's class with a simple note. Go back, make sure you understand why I introduced to you this at the beginning of the week and why this is very important towards the end of the week. And in my advice, what to do after today's class. I will send this message later. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you for coming back. See you next Monday. Remember, you need to form a team. Let me know. All right? That's it for today's CISG 1.4, Section 1, Web Technology and Life, day number 10 in week number 5.